My name is Lynn Westover. I'm partner co-founder for Six Layer Concepts and Consulting. We designed the HTM BPR course, which is human terrain mapping and behavior pattern recognition. And what this course is, is it's designed to give officers the ability in the middle of a, a critical event or critical situations to make rapid decisions based on human behavior, artifacts and evidence of science in accordance with policy and procedure and legal moral and ethical frameworks. This allows the officers to A, feel more comfortable with their decision making. Uh, they can feel better about their decision making, their leadership can feel better about their decision making, but more importantly, the community that they serve uh, feels that there's that transparency necessary uh, within the decision making that they have. This training course that I've received through SLC Squared has been 13 days long. It's been intensive, lots of information thrown down range. We've had to really go through it, break it apart, and understand it. Where I think this will help officers down the road is they're able to utilize this information, this training, all these facts and science, and put it all together and be able to articulate things, be able to explain exactly what it is that they see out in the environment and in the community, and then make a decision and act on it. One of the core components to this training, it, it emphasizes de-escalation and mitigation strategies, but more so by well, hey, what was everything leading up to this situation? Oftentimes we see, whether it's in the media or even on YouTube videos, we see when bang is occurring, what we call bang. But there are a lot of pre-event indicators that are leading up to that. So by giving the officers the ability to make those observations real time and rapidly, it actually opens up time for them to exercise that de-escalation mitigation and use something that we call tactical patience. How can I slow this situation down so that I don't have to use force or deadly force, but should I have to, well now I have my articulation for that. I feel that this training will be a huge benefit for the community and our surrounding areas. It's giving officers the training and knowledge how to take the culture around them, take the environment, the people and the community that they're working in, understand it, and if they have a bias, hopefully they can recognize that and address it. And know going into a situation already prepared of what they need to expect. Some of the biggest things that we're seeing coming out of, uh, of the classes after we've trained this whole agency in, in the after action reviews from the officers, the ones who have spent a lot of time on the force have said, hey, I wish I had this training when I first started. And some of the younger officers are saying, like, this, this training has given me a new perspective on the way in which I uh, talk to people, treat people, you know, understanding cultural awareness, understanding how bias can impact my decision making, and just feeling overall more confidence in being able to deal with and handle these situations. This is a tough job. It's not a mandatory job. Nobody's voluntold to do this job. So just to, for their feedback that we're receiving is that, that confidence, that increased confidence in, in what they're doing out there uh, so that they can be better at their jobs.